Manure is dumped in front of Nancy's San Francisco house. A leftist torment the former speaker at her home and in D.C. over support for Israel. Yeah. Uh, no idea why the gateway pun is so defenseful for her. But hey, you know, they're not doing anything nearly what BLM did to our cities in 2020 and what they will do this year. If it's them, it's probably going to be the Hispanic community, to be honest with you, this year. Uh, and probably the migrants involved as well. There's a lot of Venezuelan gangs now in uh, NYC, right? So, yeah, so this is a scene out of there. Um, uh, the past week, a load of manure was dumped in front of Pelosi's home and two code pink activists were charged over a protest that damaged the garage door as well as the street and sidewalk in front of the house with red paint. Code pink. That's funny because the last time, wasn't it her house? Was it her house that was tagged? And what we noticed was that they, when they spray painted the part where this brick that was taped off because they don't want to have to hire sandblasters to uh, clean the brick. Yeah. So uh, that was a, a, a fancy fox truck. That was fake. She, they were, she was just trying to victimize herself again. Uh, but yes, uh, this person posts, Nancy is an Israeli apologist. Yes, they control both sides of the aisle. Almost all of them. Okay. There are only a, a small handful that are, that, that are not compromised by Israel. Uh, DT being one of them, right? Anyways, they said today she refused to answer for her support for Israel as we talked to her ahead of the house vote on spending $17 billion more to support Israel's slaughter of Gaza. There we go. Don't call us Russian apologists or Chinese apologists. You are an Israel apologist. You remember the other day when uh, she was being um, uh, heckled by uh, someone who was Asian? And then she was, why don't you go back to China where your headquarters is? <laughs> that was great. That was great. That just goes to show you Asian community. These Democrats don't care. They don't like us. They don't care about us. Yeah. At least, at least the Republicans will give us a fair chance at life, right? All the Democrats and the radical black activists who took over IB League colleges won't even let us in anymore. You guys know that? Wow. Look at that. 300 pounds of crap delivered to Nancy's house this morning. Oh, how nice. At least they left it outside. Uh, they're trying to take a page off of the, um, the, the, the French farmers who are spraying liquid uh, manure on buildings, on government buildings. Uh, but, you know, they don't want to get arrested, right? Uh, because uh, once you mess with a, a, a Democrat politician, you get arrested. So there it is. Piles of uh, piles of goodies. Yeah. yeah there's a truck that they brought it in. Uh, you're supposed to buy it in that tanker where you can pump it and spray it. Spray it. Yeah. Yeah. Today, the protesters delivered 300 pounds of crap to Nancy's house, demanding that she cut the crap and stop arming Israel. Good uh, morning, Nancy Pelosi. San Francisco is tired of your shit. Wait. Okay, that's enough of that music. Thank you. We got it. You got your commentary. You got your music way too loud. Okay, negative 18 decibels, guys. Negative 18 or 15, depending on how it's normalized. If it's compressed, then it's 18. Anyways, uh, ooh, look at that. Demonstrators. This morning, demonstrators delivered manure to Nancy's house, demanding that she cut the crap and stop supporting arms to Israel. It was continued to reject ceasefire agreements and bombing Rafah and across Gaza. Look at that. And look at that. Oh, chalk, really? You're, you're tagging up the, the floor with chalk. Well, you guys are... Well, at least it's red paint. So at least you guys are like sort of balanced. I don't know. I have a feeling that that's going to wash away very easily as well. This weekend, Bay Area Code Pink took to Nancy's house to tell neighbors and constituents that a genesis is being funded in our name. Yeah, it is. It's been doing, been that way since, uh, since uh, the what the bankers took over in 1912 or something like that. Yeah, yeah. While Pelosi calls protesters foreign agents, she takes thousands from AIPAC, APAC, and profits off of war. Yes, buying lots of national defense stocks. MTG does the same thing. Yeah, no more money for Israeli crimes. This code pink. Yeah, did you ever think what well, we'd be agreeing with uh, these liberal activists? I'm telling you, all of you liberal pro uh, anti-war activists need to become uh, Trump supporters. We're not asking you to be a Republican, but be a Trump supporter because uh, out of the last hundred years, he's the only president. I think him and Reagan are the only two two Republicans who did not start a new war. So if you are anti-war, you should be on our side. If you're Islamist, you need to be a Republican. Or at least back to uh, DT. Granted, he's still beholden to Israel, okay? But at least he 
clearly, clearly they don't not have they don't have anything compromising on him because you couldn't control him all the way, right? But at least he's not going to start any new wars. Yeah, I mean, look at Biden. Biden's uh, funding both sides. That's not good for anybody. So yeah, they they're getting arrested, which is odd because in 2020, you know, and also this year being an election year, they don't get arrested. You know, they're allowed to burn and loot and stuff like that, beat a whiteies. Um, that's just the way of uh, politics these days in America. Oh, remember this one? Was this the one where she was like, uh, why don't you go back to China where your headquarters is? Here we go. The Democrats want the ceasefire. 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 I want this Nancy Pelosi to run against Trump in November. It'd be very entertaining, huh? Yeah. Both of them just trashing pandas, right? That'd be great. I've been saying it for a long time. Guys, I'm Chinese, so I can say that, okay? I've been saying it for a long time. I've been telling all, all my liberal Jewish friends to not trust China. They will stab you in the back. And guess what they did? They ruined my life on behalf of China. Yeah, yeah. How's it feel now? How's it feel now that uh, uh, Biden has outlawed deporting Palestinians? <laughs> Oh man, do you have? Do you guys have anywhere to go now? After if they, if they successfully take down this country, you, do you Jays have anywhere to go? Yeah, other than Israel, because it's so peaceful there, right? Good lord, yeah. We know your motherland of Khazaria is being destroyed right now, or should I say, being cleansed of garbage, right? Yeah. Um. Anyways, oh look at that. She won. Hold on. Nancy went on CNN saying she wants to ask the FBI to investigate alleged Russian financing of Gaza protest. So she's blaming uh, Russians for funding. I, I hate to tell you this, but they're actually Islamists here. They're not taking money from anyone overseas. They literally have family in Gaza. Stupid. Here we go. Oh, great. Of course, the video wouldn't work. They're in front of my house all the time. So I... I I have a feeling for what feelings they have. But we have to think about what we're doing. And what we have to do is try to stop the suffering and gossip. This is women and children, people who don't have a place to go. So let's address that. But for them to call for a ceasefire is Mr. Putin's message. You hear that? The guy, the Vlad, Vladimir, Vladimir, the guy who wants... Uh, to negotiate a ceasefire in Ukraine in which Biden said, no, I don't even want to talk to you. Uh, she's alleging is the one who uh, does, uh, who, who, who is, uh, well, I mean, I guess that would make sense, right? But uh, no, they, they, you don't need funding for something this organic. There are literally lots of Islamists here. They want peace. We want peace. The Christians want peace. MAGA people want peace. Trump supporters want peace. Uh, the only president in a hundred years who's not started a new war. And they're 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 alleging that oh we just want to take out all of the J's they're like no 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 Z's not J's big difference Mr. Putin's message make no mistake this is directly connected to what he would like to see same thing with Ukraine it's about Putin's message I think some of these some of these protesters are spontaneous and organic and sincere some I think are connected do you hear that Democrat. Do you, do, you, do you hear that, all you anti-war activists? Uh, Nancy is calling you Russian puppets. Are you going to continue voting Democrat? Uh, to Russia, and I say that having looked at this for a long time now. As you you know, think some of these protests are Russian plants? These are plants. I think some financing should be investigated. And I want to ask the, the uh, uh, FBI to investigate that. Hmm. Yeah, let's waste uh, more FBI resources investigating uh, uh, anti-war activists and MAGA grandmas. Sure, Nancy, we believe you. 